Hi guys, it is January 15, 2019. Our society is so sick. It's so sick. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We can't get through to anybody. You know, adults, look, you have the choice. Kids don't. They don't. See, these children right here, they don't have a choice. And nobody is telling them, hey, this classroom that you're sitting in is dangerous. Why? You all know. Wi-Fi. But listen to this report and watch these kids. Oh, is it the same number? Yes. yes. These third graders are learning addition and subtraction. How many ones do you need to regroup? With an added feature. You can have your prize now. It brings in that flare and that, you know, flash. But all right, this woman needs to get educated. Uh, she's a teacher. She needs to get educated about what these gadgets are doing to these children. Did you see that? Look at this. This is a wireless um, screen, but I don't know what it is. Um, are these iPads? All right, I'm very behind the eight ball when it comes to technology. But this, it, it, she's just leaning it right up against her stomach. Dangerous frequencies being emitted from this. And she's surrounded by adults who are allowing this. These adults are, are every single day, they allow these children to be in environments that are so dangerous, so unbelievably dangerous to their physical health, to their brains, their cognitive, uh, everything, everything. I, it's like, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. You know, all right, so you post videos and people leave comments. I have had subscribers in my life who knew about the dangers of the Wi-Fi and it took eight months for one to remove the Wi-Fi from her home, another one, two years to remove the Wi-Fi. What is it with us? What is it? Is it only the people who are noticeably self-destructive? You know, they shooting up or they're, you know, drinking in excess or um, doing a lot of drugs. And you can see that self-destructive behavior. But you're just as self-destructive if you are still in a home with Wi-Fi. Uh, I and parents. I've spoken to parents and grandparents. I've had conversations with a grandparent here in South Carolina, a neighbor, and her five-year-old grandson. I never see him. He gets out of the car and he's staring at this iPad. I think that's what they're called. They're just little screens. And every time I see this kid, he's staring at a screen. And of course, he was brought up playing with his father these violent video games. And he says to his grandmother one night, when you're asleep, I'm going to kill you. Where did he get that from? He got that from the violent video games. But now, because he's been diagnosed ADHD, Wi-Fi, attention deficit disorder is linked to Wi-Fi, these frequencies. So he was diagnosed. So now he's on some kind of speed and he's still staring at his iPad. And I told his grandmother, I said, please do the research because the screen is emitting these dangerous frequencies. Did she? No, no, no. I can't believe what is going on in this country with adults who don't care about children. Look at what is happening in just this school but it really is so educational. Patty Kurtz and other teachers at Walker Elementary School in West Dallas, Wisconsin, supplement their classwork with a digital math program called Dreambox. Welcome to Dreambox Learning, where the problems become There's more challenging.
It's fun to pack and unpack. Dreambox is part of a vast array of apps, websites, and software increasingly being used in elementary and middle schools that bring gaming into the classroom. I like it because um, it, it shows like it's math and a game. We're going to have a stopwatch. We're going to work at level zero. Everything is Wi-Fi. These kids are just, they're, they, all, they have their own individual computers and iPads and and then they have the wire, uh, the wireless routers in their classrooms. They are getting so bombarded with these dangerous frequencies. And more and more kids are being diagnosed with, well, pick a mental disorder. I, it's so sad that this is going on. It is so unbelievably sad. So, well, I'm just going to bring you through some information. Um, I'm going to recommend that if this, if any of what you see, you know, on in anybody's video, um, any of the studies, the documents that prove what people are posting on, I suggest that you download or print out hard copies because I've had bookmarked for several years an awful lot of information and now I am clicking on it and I'm getting that 404 uh, error message or no longer available so what I'm going to be showing you is very 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 important papers finding adverse biological effects or damage to health from Wi-Fi signals Wi-Fi enabled devices or Wi-Fi frequencies children are exposed to Wi-Fi in schools every day around the world. Children are sitting with Wi-Fi enabled tablet computers on their laps. I almost want to cry. I cannot believe that we're doing this to children. I cannot believe it. They're sitting with the computers on their laps uh, up against their bodies for prolonged periods of time. The studies below support the claim that schools giving children wireless devices to use are exposing them to Wi-Fi signals, are fa they're failing to safeguard the health, development, or well-being of the young people for whom they are responsible. Papers are in alphabetical order. And here they are. Do you need, do you need any more studies? You know, you hear mainstream media, they're claiming that the studies are inconclusive. Bullshit! Another lie. You're fed lies. I'm so tired of the lies. Oh my God. I'm like desperate, desperate to just have a relationship with someone that I can trust. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am sure that a lot of you can relate to how I'm feeling based on the comments that I'm reading. Okay, so that's one page of papers showing you Wi-Fi is dangerous to your health and your children's health. But what is this? Here, Wi-Fi experiment done by a group of ninth grade students got serious international attention. Why? Well, they did this experiment. Uh, 400 crest seeds and placed them in 12 trays. And six trays in two separate rooms, but but the same temperature, same amount of water, and same sun for 12 days. One grew, one died. What was the difference? This one sat in a room with Wi-Fi. This is what is being done to children. Children are having their health destroyed their brains destroyed by Wi-Fi and it goes on every single day there's a reason why Steve Jobs uh, Bill Gates the techies Silicon Valley there's a reason why they don't give their children iPads and iPhones and why the techies in Silicon Valley send their children to schools 
that don't have this technology. Do you know that? They do not send their children to schools that have the technology that your kids attend public school because they know the dangers. A list of schools and organizations that have taken action regarding wireless technology from 2014. These are all schools that have taken action removing Wi-Fi. Removing Wi-Fi. Ireland, Israel, Italy, an awful lot of countries have banned Wi-Fi. Here in the United States, somehow we are celebrating celebrating how high-tech we are. Okay, yeah, I'll link below to everything. Worldwide precautionary action. Around the world, countries are taking strong action to reduce wireless radiation on children. Countries Switzerland, Italy, France, Austria, Luxembourg, Bulgaria, Poland, Hungary, Israel, Russia, China. They have set radio frequency exposure limits 100 to 10,000 times less than the United States. Here, we have no standards. Here, we just blast away. Here, we blast away. And you wonder why the population is getting so sick. Italian town shuts down school. Uh, well, it's not that we're against technology. Our choice is merely a precautionary measure. Some studies have suggested that electromagnetic radiation given off by wireless routers can affect the development of cells in young children enough to convince Tola to shut, Tola is the mayor of this um, town, I, I believe that's, yes, Mayor, Mayor, mayor Tola, to sh so it convinced him to shut the Wi-Fi off in two schools in a town in Italy. You know, in this video, you do come across this boy who is sitting with this, um, yeah, look at them. Look at this. Will you look at this, okay? It's known, mainstream media has reported on these frequencies and what they are doing to men's testicles, sperm, These teachers are so unbelievably dangerous, irresponsible. I I'm sorry. You know, there's been enough out there, mainstream media, and all of these boys are having their testicles fried. Fried. It it's... Uh, We are so mentally deranged. There is a fertility crisis around the world. Fertility crisis here in the United States. We're saturated in dangerous Wi-Fi. These kids are going to school surrounded by this all day long and they are bombarded by it. You want to talk about the most dangerous environment now today, it's probably public schools because of all of the Wi-Fi routers and all of these computers and all the kids who have the cell phones and all the teachers who have the cell phones. And every single time, uh, just with the cell phones, you have someone calling you or you are making a call, you are pulling these dangerous frequencies more intensely right smack into your body, but you put uh, others around you within like a three foot radius. You subject them to the dangerous frequencies as well. So you are a danger to everybody who is in close proximity. 
yeah, it is upsetting. I'm sorry. You know, we have so many toxic assaults now, and you can't get through to anybody, and nobody cares about anybody else. You know, they're whipping out their cell phones, using it. Who cares, you know, about the other people that they're putting in danger? Radiation education. Information on the biological effects of chronic microwave exposure in schools and the environment. The psychological problems associated with screen and cell phone addiction. Here, more information. Uh, Wi-Fi in schools, you want to see how many articles, and this, unfortunately, uh, the last update was June 12, 2018. You want to see how many articles there have been about the dangers, Wi-Fi in schools? Yeah, student discover Wi-Fi technology may cause infertility. A student discovers that? Our, our government has known that for decades. Wi-Fi alert. School officials may be personally liable for exposing children to wireless radiation. Frankly, I think every parent should be, should be filing lawsuits and naming teachers, administrators, principals, nurses, psychiatrists as part of the suit. Individual liability. Because th there's way... Oh, <laughs> the evidence, I mean, it just keeps mounting that these children are being subjected to incredibly dangerous environments. <sighs> I... If you can't get other parents to organize to get that Wi-Fi out of your school, then file lawsuits. <laughs> Deputy Man Minister of Health in Israel, rethink Wi-Fi in schools. Um, Wi-Fi networks in schools and cell towers on your school grounds could significantly increase the cancer risk in your community. So you have got the cell towers that are placed on school property. Why? Because the school is getting money from the company that has placed that tower on the school property. So it's not only the children who are being irradiated with even more frequencies, more dangerous toxins, but everybody in the community. I posted a video recently showing that there was a lawsuit um, and it was a neighborhood in California and I can't remember exactly where I think it was California but all of the people in that neighborhood when in close proximity to a cell tower they were coming down with an awful lot of symptoms many died of cancer many um, were diagnosed with cancer that was after they had moved in to that area and had been there for a while or um, had lived there but once the cell tower was up and running then the people who had always been there also suffered symptoms you're in close proximity to a cell tower you're being irradiated you got Wi-Fi in your home you're only increasing the exposure you walk around with a cell phone, you, you increase the exposure more. You got a smart meter, that increases the exposure. Uh, uh. Actual or, or potential effects of extremely low frequency and radio frequency microwave radiation on enhancing violence and homicide and accelerating aging of human, animal, or plant animals and this is a very very good article proven that humanly generated fields and radiation at intensities from a thousand to many many billion times higher yeah 
That's what we're saturated in now. Um, also significantly enhance a wide range of adverse health effects including cancer, heart disease, sleep disturbance, depression, suicide, anger, rage, violence, homicide, neurological disease, and mortality. Is this a doctor who's just writing, oh, this is my opinion on this? No. Proven. Studies. Proven. And go all the way down here. 96 pages of studies that are all noted at the end. End notes. Children, children, magnetic fields and cancer in children residing near high power or high voltage power lines. We, we are so now. It's frightening. It's really frightening. But you know what? Adults, do whatever the hell you want, but you do not have a right to endanger children. You just don't. You really don't. Now, I don't know why I can't get... This just keeps jumping right back. It won't stay. Uh, parents who are addicted to... Let's see if we can get it. Parents who are addicted to their cell phones are having an adverse effect on their children their children's development. Yeah. Huh. Parents, you uh, maybe should attend to your children. Yeah, look them in the eye, talk to them, communicate with them. Israel banning smartphones in schools. How we could have children bringing phones to school? Are you? Are we Friggin nuts. Yeah. All right. So if you don't care about children and you don't care about your own children, you know, people uh, care about their pets and wildlife and the four leggeds. All right. So our cell phone addiction is turning wireless tech into an invisible weapon that's destroying wildlife growing evidence that our addiction to cell phones could be impacting brain functionality and be the cause of stress, anxiety, insomnia, and a lack of attention and focus. Now a new report has found that we're not the only living things on the planet. Hey, a new report says, human being, you ain't special. There's other life on the planet and you're affecting it with this saturation of dangerous microwave radiation pulsating. So the mammals, birds, insects, and even plants all harmed. All harmed. Look at our trees dying. Oh, man. Israel bans Wi-Fi in kindergarten. Calls to limit children's exposure. Biological and health effects of microwave radio frequency transmissions, a review of the research literature. 78, 78 pages, 78 pages, executive summary, basic precepts for residential exposure to radio frequency transmissions. Cell towers, Gwen towers, antennas all over. Excessive radio frequency exposure can cause acute problems, headaches, insomnia, fatigue, vertigo, tinnitus, and other symptoms of electro hypersensitivity, electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And you know what? When I post videos regarding schools, I'll get kids who leave comments and they're talking about how they feel in school. They're sick, they get nauseous, they have headaches. And one was heartbreaking. Junior high and his parents thought he was crazy and kept putting him back into that school. We're not going to get anywhere when parents don't even care about their own children. I'll link below to it all, you know. Here, just the executive summary is worth reading.
It causes chronic problems, oxidative stress, cancer, male infertility, um, melatonin secretion, disturbed sleep. So many studies, thousands upon thousands of studies. And still here we are, still saturated, still even having difficulty getting awake people, awake, quote unquote, awake, awake to the dangers, still such difficulty getting them to stop using that cell phone right smack up against their ear, for them to remove the Wi-Fi from their home. Something has drastically changed in our country with this American population. Now, many say that it's the poisons. I say that we had a problem before all of these poisons hit our environment. The poisons exacerbate it. All links are below. We don't have a right to do this to children. We do not have a right to do this to children. This is immoral, irresponsible, and every adult is telling these children, I don't care about you. As you can see, I walk into these classrooms, so I don't even care about me. So how could I possibly care about you?